Hello, welcome back. It is Matt V here, and uh, let's do this, man. I wanted to review these sets of fragrances for a while, and it is the wonderful Aqua Original line from Creed, and um, I've collected all five of them, and I wanted to just, you know, give you my opinion on what it is, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so there's five of them. There's Cedra Blanc, Asian Green Tea, Vetiver Geranium, Iris Tuberose, and Aberdeen Lavender. And these are the five that were released in 2013 from the House of Creed. Four out of five of them are considered unisex. The one being non-unisex, according to Creed's website, is the Iris Tuberose. And I can understand that because it is a very, very powdery, florally fragrance. All right, so we're gonna start in no particular order, but I'm just gonna go over them just so that we can kind of just address what they are and what category they sort of fall under and whether or not it's something that you would personally be interested in. Now you can pick these up at fairly fairly uh, inexpensive prices. Um, I, don't, I don't know if they were successful not sure at their launch, but um, you can find them. They're, they're, I think they're the least expensive creeds you can purchase. Brand new, if you buy it at a Creed boutique or online or at their stores or at uh, Neiman Marcus, I think they're 315 uh, and it's for 100 mil, but um, you can find them as low as like $100 online or even lower, uh, depends on where you look. I picked mine up for a really low price. I got testers, I got all five of mine are testers, so I was able to get a really good deal on them, but they are, uh, you know, they're nice. It's a good collection to have. Let's dive right into this, shall we? All right, so the first one I'm gonna start with is Asian Green Tea. Now, this one in particular is very nice. Uh, it's a nice tea, fruity, sort of citrusy fragrance, and it's wonderful. I mean, it is a beautiful fragrance, and yes, it can go either uh, male or female, depending on whatever your mood is, but this is a really nice and relaxing sort of fragrance to have. I know that I can kind of draw the comparison to one that used to be sold at L'Occitane, and I think it was also called either Green Tea or Asian Green Tea, I'm not sure, what the, don't remember the name, but, and they might still sell it. I, I just didn't see it the last time I was there, but this one resembles very much that one. So if you love that one from L'Occitane, the Green Tea one, you'll love this. Um, they're very, very, very similar. Uh, but this one has a little bit more of a natural sort of uh, vibe to it. You know, being that it's Creed, they probably use much more high quality ingredients, as I would suspect for the price point. But beautiful, uh, the bottles are designed as such. You know, they have a really, they're not trustworthy to hold by the cap. So do not try to pull up your fragrance by the cap because they will come off and it'll crash down and you'll be upset. All right, so I'm just gonna rattle off the notes just so that you know what they are and I'll probably put them up as well so that you can read what they are. Bergamot, Mandarin, Lemon, Neroli, Violet. Then you're gonna have Heliotrope, Green Tea, Rose, Black Currant. And to round it all off, you're gonna have Sandalwood, Musk, Amber. Okay guys, so that's the uh, quick review on Asian Green Tea. Um, give it a shot, give it a smell, go to your local Creed Boutique or Neiman Marcus and see if you can get your nose on it or buy a small little decant. Again, they're not really that expensive if you buy like I bought, like I bought a tester, um, but, but, Smells wonderful, good stuff. Asian green tea. Next on the list is Cedra Blanc, and this one is very nice. I think this one leans more towards the masculine side in terms of uh, versatility, and I think that uh, it's great. I mean, it's a creamy, woody fragrance. It uh, leaves a nice little warm sort of scent trail on your skin, um, and the name says it all, Cedra Blanc. It, it, it feels like white cedar. You know, it's just beautiful, beautiful, bright, fragrance and um, again you know this is very subjective if you like these kind of fragrances then you're gonna really love this all right all right so with this one you're gonna have bergamot cardamom galbanum and bay leaf then geranium lily jasmine and to warm it all down you're gonna have cedar sandalwood and vetiver beautiful fragrance uh bright uplifting woody floral check it out cedra blanc i think this is really nice i've worn this and i have gotten compliments on this so uh, that says a lot good one so the next one is Aberdeen Lavender. This is a really nice fragrance. I enjoyed this one a lot. This is also considered an oriental fragrance and it is just really, really nice, well blended. So it's an oriental fragrance, but it is also an oriental fougere, but hence the name Lavender in it and it has the woods. So this is a really, really um, nice lavender fragrance. So you'll start off with wormwood, bergamot, rosemary, and lemon. Then you'll have lavender, of course, lily, tuberose, and rose. And then round it all off with patchouli, vetiver, and leather. So yeah, with this, 
you get a really fresh sort of, uh, not really dry, but kind of dry, lavender-esque, just think like dryer sheets. It's got like a beautiful lavender fragrancy vibe to it with the woods, and the woods really help out and give it a nice sort of rounded off dense. The evolution on this fragrance is absolutely beautiful, uh, and I really like this. I think for um, any sort of occasion, you can use this. Um, it's just completely up to you. If you're a fougere person, this is a, an excellent, excellent choice. Aberdeen Lavender by Creed. All right, so the next one is Vetiver Geranium. So the name says it all. Actually, most of their names just say it all. But this Vetiver Geranium is a really, really nice fragrance. It's a nice woody floral. It has a great sort of nice opening of like apple and lemon. Um, and then you get down to that really kind of sort of soapy vetiver feel to it. This gives a really, really nice sort of vetivery and geranium quality to the bright and nice fruits that are involved in this fragrance. It's a beautiful woody floral fragrance. I uh, really like it. I mean, this one gets just as much love from me as the Cedra Blanc. So with this one, you're gonna have Granny Smith apples, green ones as listed, bergamot, lemon. In the heart, you're gonna have geranium, cinnamon, and rose. And then patchouli, cedar, musk, amber. I would get my nose on this if I were you. This is also, as I said, it's versatile, it's unisex, but this is very, very nice. I thoroughly enjoy using this, good one. All right, and last but not least, we have Iris Tuberose. So this one is the least versatile of the five. This is a uh, honey, tuberose, powdery iris. So it's, uh, I, it's this is a female fragrance. Um, but it is a nice female fragrance. It's beautiful. It's it's a uh, it's nice and sweet, but at the same time floral. Um, but you know, this is a great if you're a man and you would like to gift this to your lady or any other lady in your life that happens to like florals. That is a very important aspect. This is very nice. This lasts a long time. I smelled this on my girlfriend and it didn't. Uh, it did not disappoint. This thing lasted a very long time on her skin. So. Um, highly recommended uh, if you like florals. This is definitely a fragrance for you. So it starts off with galvanum, orange, and violet leaves, then tuberose, lily of the valley, and lily, and then musk, orange blossom, and vanilla. So as you can see, this fragrance favors people who love florals. It's very heavy on the florals, but it's a beautiful floral fragrance. The evolution is beautiful. You get that nice warm vanilla and musk at the bottom, and you get that really, really nice uh, blend of the tuberose uh, with the iris. So you get like a nice powdery, fresh, fruity, floral uh, uh, vibe with this. So, hey, you can't go wrong if this is something that you like. I would definitely, again, get my nose on this if this is something that you're interested in. Again, like I said, you can purchase these pretty much in the maybe 100 to 110 dollar range maybe a little bit more you can pick them up for a good price online these are testers so i mean, i got a good i got them at a really good price uh try fragrancenet.com to see if you can pick yourself up one they usually have really really strong discounts uh usually like 30 percent and up so you could get really good deals at that website and if you don't know about it, well then in the description box there will be a link that you can click on and check them out. Sound good? Of course it does. All right, so with all these fragrances, I can say this. They have a pretty good longevity with them. I would say like the average range between the five of them, you could probably get, and also depending on skin, right? Because some people have more oily or more dry and blah, 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 all the other bull crap that we hear about in terms of longevity. But uh, I would say the average would be about six hours. Average, average. Could be longer, could be a little shorter, could be just at that. So, um, not bad. They, they're, they're really, I think, an underrated uh, line within the Creed house. So if you definitely haven't smelled them, give it a shot. If there's a Neiman Marcus or a Creed Boutique near you, just go in there, give them a smell, see if you like them. I thoroughly enjoy the ones that work for me, and um, I haven't heard any complaints, and uh, I did get a few compliments on at least two of them. Hope you enjoyed this quick little review on the Aqua Original line from the House of Creed. And this debuted in 2013. You know what to do. I don't wanna say it anymore, but I'm going to anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. 
give a thumbs up, whatever, whatever you feel, and uh, comment down below and let me know if you've tried these or if you have anything that smells similar to them. That'd be kind of cool. That way I can kind of be like, oh, I'll do a now a clone version of these creeds, of the Aqua Original. Hmm. That might be kind of cool and exciting. Anyhow, thank you for tuning in, if you did, and if you didn't, you didn't miss anything. You just, me talking. Deuces. So it's a woody, uh, fruity, woody, woody, fruity, fruit, wood, wood fruit, fruit, woody, I don't know. <laughs>